Hello guys, welcome to the part 2 of this submarine animation series. This time, we're going to animate all the elements. So hopefully, we can finish the animation today. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any tutorial that I'm going to upload. So without further ado, let's get started. Roll intro. to the fish, select the pig whip and drag it to your fish. Uh oh, I almost forgot. Select the bubble, hit Ctrl D to duplicate and change the position. Now select the pig whip and drag it to your fish. Layers hit P on your keyboard, hit the stopwatch to make the first keyframe. Hit T on your keyboard, make the opacity 0%. Select the position. to make our second keyframe. Go back to 19 frames, make the opacity 100%. Go to the end of our animation, make the opacity 0%. Now let's edit the bubbles. Let's edit the position so we have variation of how the bubbles will appear. position.
keyboard let's edit the size and make it 80 percent select the bubble make the size 75 percent It is important to make each bubble different in size. one more time we are going to offset the timing of our bubble when to show up fish, get your pin tool, draw a line, just like this, don't worry about the fill, let's take care about that later. Shape layer, content, shape one, path one. Control C to copy. Make sure guys that you copy the path one. Go to fish to layer, hit P on your keyboard and paste. On your keyboard, select all the keyframe and drag the keyframe until the end of the animation. After that, select the shape layer and delete. We do not need that anymore. Before anything else guys, we have to paste the loop expression to our bubbles. If you've watched part 1 guys, you know already the loop expression that I have been talking about. Let's animate the fish, get your pin tool and draw a line. Adjust the path so the fish can swim smoothly. shape layer content shape one path one control c to copy go back to fish layer hit p 
copy for position and paste. We should change the position of our fish and hide them at the beginning. Now select the clouds, place it anywhere you want. same thing as we did with the other clouds now finally let's animate the wave hit on your keyboard, let's modify the size first. Go to your first frame and make the first keyframe. second keyframe. Let's preview our animation to see what we have done so far. make the bubble of our submarine select the shape layer press enter to rename select the submarine bubble and hit P on your keyboard and press shift so we can edit the opacity and the position by this time guys if you keep on watching I think you have an idea of how to animate the bubbles Ctrl D to duplicate and let's offset the timing of the bubbles.
duplicate one more time and again let's offset the timing guys finally we're finished that's all for now hope to see you in the next tutorial If you like this video, please subscribe, share and hit the notification bell so you will be notified if I'm going to upload another video tutorial. Thank you so much and take care everyone.